Welcome to the Brain Boxes BB400 Quick Start Video Guide. The BB400 is an industrial controller incorporating a Raspberry Pi and Arduino. A number of design features make this device suitable for use in an industrial environment. In the following videos, we'll show you how to power on, connect to your network, and configure the web interface included on the device. In the box, you'll find our product summary guide, a quick start guide, the BB400 Neuron Edge controller, and a Wi Fi antenna. The BB400 can be connected to over a wired Ethernet network by plugging into the uplink port and also through its Wi Fi. The Wi Fi antenna screws onto the main status panel. The antenna is detachable, allowing for an extension cable when routing Wi-Fi out of the cabinet. If you wish to use the internal real-time clock, you must first separate the shell from the device. Using a flathead screwdriver, press down on these clips and slide the shell away. You can find the battery port at the bottom left of the motherboard on the same side as the two blue supercapacitors. In the event of a power loss, these capacitors act as a mini UPS power supply. It is strongly advised that you wait at least five minutes after shutdown of the device before opening the case as the capacitors discharge. The real-time clock requires a CR1220 3V lithium-ion battery placed plus side up. To reattach the lower case, follow the guide rails along the top and bottom of the device. Extra care is to be taken with the flexi connector. To connect the BB400, we will be using the Brainbox's PW400 power supply, including plug converters for the UK, EU, US and Australia power sources. If you are using your own power supply, it must be a DC source between 5 and 30 volts to the power requirements of the BB400, which can be found on the side of the device. The power terminal block detaches from the device for easy installation. Using a flathead screwdriver again, screw the negative ferrule into the slot marked 1, and the positive ferrule into 2, locking the power cable in place. Other power configurations can be found in your quick start guide. Once your power supply is on, the device's DIOs and power state will illuminate. Once the power state is switched from pre-charged to running, you're ready to go.